English, baby. So, I work with kids. Yeah. And I I notice you know the way kids speak to each other, and there's sort of this really common, um, in, well, kids use it as an insult when they're talking to somebody and saying, "You're retarded." Oh, I used to say that. Well, I mean. But you know, I think in this day and age, it's it's absolutely unacceptable. It's well, it's it's a sensitive issue. I don't think you're going to stop people from saying that or saying other, you know, things that you and I may think as mature adults are inappropriate. Mm -hmm. um, there's just kind of there's there's a, a kid, there, at the t same time that something's derogatory and slangish and kind of putting down someone else. It's also kind of a way to, to build a kinship, you know, like if you can call someone that, like, okay, like a stereotype would be frat boys, right? It's like, oh, dude, you're so gay. Like, remember that, that scene in The 40-Year-Old Virgin? It's like, you know how I can tell you're gay? Because you do this, and then the guy's like, okay, well, you know, you're gay. And it's like, and it's a really endearing scene. So something, there's a way to kind of turn it around. Well, it's, it's about how the language is used, but I think that there are, you know, when you're really talking about people, that mm -hmm. you need to be really conscious of that and mm. and do you refer to people that you know as mentally challenged developmentally disabled see to me those almost sound worse you know why it's like because you're going into some you, it feels like you're jumping through so many hoops to like step on eggshells about it I don't know I almost I, I don't know I think it's something that we have to think about as, as a society